there everybody a little bit different video than normal today i figured uh i finally do something i've been talking about for years and probably all my teammates is out there especially flex has heard me talk about this well it's finally come i'm actually going to build a new pc so figured before i uh threw everything together i just do a quick video of uh everything i'm got going into this thing um let me see, where do I start? Motherboard. Got the MSI X470 Gaming Plus Max. Um, yeah, I literally had to get a new motherboard um, because old motherboard, Jesus, I, I don't know. It might be literally seven, eight, maybe 10 years old. Um, I just couldn't upgrade it anymore. So went with new motherboard. So for RAM, I went with the uh, 3000 hertz, uh, 16 gig RAM. I mean, it's RAM. I didn't go expensive. Um, throwing a 500 gig uh, Samsung drive in, uh, E60 Evo. It's got the cache on it, so made sure that was there. Pair all this up. Got a Cougar 850 watt uh, gold power supply. Um, it is a gold plus. This is the only thing that I'm worried about. The power supply that um, I used uh, PC part picker to help pick out did not exist. So, cross my fingers that this has everything that it needs. I tried to use the information from the other one. It, ne it needed to have a, a four pin extra for the power supply. So, really hoping that, that that is what I need. Got a six pack of um, lights up here no clue they were cheap they had i'm not going to take that out um they are rgb i mean why not right you're going to do this might as well do it somewhat right and they had pretty good ratings so and at the heart of this whole thing i went ryzen i've got the Ryzen 3900X, a little bit more expensive than the uh, 3700, but I think for the extra cores, and it, it just made sense because I don't upgrade computers, so I figured if I'm going to get it, I might as well get it right. So this does come with the Wraith cooler. I'm going to be watching the core temperatures on this. I don't plan on overclocking it. Could overclock it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Not not for what I do. I don't want to have to try to risk, you know, what I've got. I just don't have the money. I just don't do it. And to put it all together, I've got a uh, Cooler Master MB511. It is a decent size case. I did not want to go with a micro. Um, got cooling on the bottom, cooling in the front, cooling on the top, and of course, you know, cooling on the back. Lots of room. Can't go wrong with Kohler Master. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm not going to do a complete build up. You know, as I'm building it, um, I just don't have the right setup here. So after I get everything set up in the box, um, maybe as I'm building it, I'll do some quick intros and stuff. So, alrighty, so easy parts done. We got the CPU. That Wraith Cooler is a beast. I am, I'm impressed. Um, the amount of copper, the amount of weight on that thing is ridiculous. And there's the uh, the back of that. If you want to take a look, it's got the. Um, it's funny. It still has a PS2 port on it. I don't think they made those with it anymore. All right. So let's go back. Uh, I've got the uh, RAM cooler and the CPU on there. So see you on the next part. Hey guys, 